reaction to the video screen. winner for Rookie of the Year. This year, Cubs third baseman Chris Bryant was almost unanimous for the National League MVP award. He won overwhelmingly. He is a magician. Absolute magician. Chicago Cubs, please welcome television analyst, Jim Deshades. Hello, 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 how's everybody doing this afternoon? Man, you folks look great. You look like you're in the best shape of your lives. Ready for a great spring training. Hello and welcome to the 2016 World Series Championship Rally. This is indeed a great day at Sloan Park and for the city of Mesa from 1952 to 1965. And then again from 1979 through today, the Chicago Cubs have called Mesa, Arizona their spring training home. We are proud to start every season with the finest spring training facility in all of Major League Baseball. Thank you for your support. In just a few moments, we'll bring up uh, a number of the Cub players, along with some very special hardware. This will be the only public stop in Arizona on the State Farm Trophy Tour. But first, let's welcome some very special people to the stage. First off, Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. Please welcome Mayor John Giles. <laughs> Vice Mayor David Luna. <laughs> Council Member Mark Freeman. <laughs> Council Member Jeremy Sweet Lou Whitaker. <laughs> Council Member Ryan Winkle. Council member Chris Gold Glover. Council member Kevin Thompson. City manager Chris Brady. And now uh, the mayor would like to say a few words. Mayor? Thank you very much. I'm just, I just want to say welcome to Mesa's version of the celebration for the 2016 World Champion Chicago Cup. Uh, 
this is, I think, probably slightly bigger than the one in Chicago, looking out across the field. Pretty close. Okay. Well, welcome to Mesa, Arizona, anybody who's not from here, and welcome especially to the Chicago Cubs back to their spring training home in Mesa, Arizona. As you know, in Mesa, we bleed cubby blue, and so we've been looking forward to this all year long. So welcome to your, to your spring training home. I think we all knew last March, as we watched ball after ball sail into the outfield during spring training, that this was going to be a special year. So thank you to this team. We want to give a special thank you to, uh, to as, as the Cubs make their annual pilgr pilgrimage back to Mesa, there's one member of the team that feels very much at home here, especially because Mesa is his home. And I'm talking about the manager, Joe Madden. Over the past 25 years, uh, Joe has lived in Mesa, and Ma he is one of J Mesa's most uh, loved adopted sons. And so, on behalf, on behalf of the city of Mesa, I have to say, welcome home, Joe, and we're honored. I am honored to give Joe Madden the key to Mesa, Arizona. How's everybody today? We did Cub stock in um, Chicago right after the World Series. A little bit of Mesa stock here today. It's pretty cool. Thank you for coming out, Mayor. Uh, on behalf of the entire Cub organization, I want to say sincerely thank you and for all you folks that um, didn't go to work today, huh? Yeah! Well, my, my granddaughters and grandson are over on the other side. They got out of school, too. How about a round of applause for my family? Yeah. Oh, right here. Hold on, raise your hand, honey. Okay. There she is. Uh, let's see. I, uh, the mayor alluded to it. I, I've lived here. I lived here for 1981 to 2001 or two. Uh, my family, my, my uh, son, daughter, and my grandchildren and their spouses live here right now. And you cannot get them out of this city. They absolutely love Mesa, Arizona. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to keep going on and on, but you have uh, the players will be up here in a minute. Uh, I do know, listen, I, I was here for a bit. I scouted here. I cut my teeth here managing at Gene Autry Park. I used to attend games at Ho Cam all the time. Uh, Mr. Dwight Patterson was a great friend of mine. Uh, so I'm very much aware of the history of the Cubs here in Mesa. And quite frankly, I feel very privileged and honored to be a member right now. I was just along for the ride last year. Uh, my second year here, and uh, the heavy lifting had been done by the Ricketts family, uh, Jed and Theo. And, and always, I hope you'd appreciate and understand the, the important role that scouting and development plays in this. When these guys walk up here, our players, and I know you all like them, and you should, that's a product of a really outstanding scouting on the part of our scouts and then player development, because these guys are legitimately that that authentic of, uh, of, of people and, and baseball players. Round of, no, thank you, but how about a round of applause for Scotty Development? Here we go. Okay, we did not suck last year. Very nice. And, uh, this year, don't forget to go online, quirkbaseball.com. All these t-shirts, the proceeds go to a great cause, our foundation, Respect 90. Uh, but last point, uh, the key to the city, Thank you so much. I'll make sure to not hand this over to our hitting coach, John Maley, because he can show up anywhere. Thank you very much. Let's hear it one more time for Joe Madden. And now, before we bring the players up, let's take one more look back on last season. 